calculating distance in the complex plane. To calculate distance between two complex numbers, we can use a similar formula to the formula we use for real numbers in the real number system. First, we have to denote what is the real part and what is the imaginary part. So we're going to call the real part x and the imaginary part y. The reason we're going to do it this way is because it's similar to how we graphed them before. We graphed the real part on the x-axis, on the horizontal axis, and the imaginary part on the y-axis, or the vertical axis. So we're going to do, use the same variables in the same order. And it's going to help us when it comes to calculating our distance. Our distance between the two points will be the square root of the first x minus the second x quantity squared plus the first y minus the second y quantity squared. So that is the exact same distance formula as the one in the real plane as long as we realize that our real part is our x's and our imaginary part is our y. Other than that, it's exactly the same. So for some examples, find the distance between the two complex points. So in the first one, we have 2 plus i and 6 plus 5i. So that means that our x sub 1 point, we'll call 2, and our x or our y sub 1 point, which would be the imaginary part of our first point, is 1. And then our x sub 2 is going to be 6, the real part of the second one, and the imaginary part of the second one is 5. So now I put those together to find the distance. So d equals the square root of 6 minus 2 squared plus 5 minus 1 squared. And then I just simplify square root of 16 plus 16, 4 squared plus 4 squared, equals the square root of 32, which I simplify that to 16 and 2. So that would be 4 square roots of 2. So the distance is 4 square roots of 2. For this next example, we have negative 2 minus 2i and negative 6 plus 4i. So that makes our x sub 1 negative 2 and our y sub 1 negative 2. And our x sub 2 is negative 6 and our y sub 2 is 4. So then I can find my distance, the square root of negative 2 minus negative 6 squared plus negative 2 minus 4 squared. So that is equal to the square root of a positive 4. Negative 2 plus 6 is positive 4 squared plus negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6 squared, giving me square root of 16 plus 36 which is the square root of 52. And then I simplify that. Square root of 4 times square root of 13, which is 2 square root of 13. So your final distance between the two complex points is 2 square roots of 13. So those are your notes over calculating distance in the complex plane go through some practice problems. It's really the same as finding distance in the real plane. You just have to remember what is your x's and what are your y's. Other than that, it's the same. Go through the practice problems and then you can do your quiz over the material.